the kidneys are anchored in the retroperitoneal space by connective tissue called the renal fascia. If we remove the renal fascia, highlighted green here, you can see that underneath that there is adipose tissue that encases the entire kidney. Removing the adipose tissue, we can finally see the outer surface of the kidney, but it's hard to tell that there's a dense, fibrous, tough um, membrane that encases all of this called the renal capsule, highlighted green here. Taking a look at the medial surface of the kidney, you can see that concave surface, there's an indentation where the ureter penetrates, that's called the hilum. That's also where blood vessels and nerve supply enter the kidney. Taking a closer look at the hilum, we can see where the ureter is entering into the hilum and it's contained within this open space. That open space is called the renal sinus and it contains that branching top of the ureter. That's known as the renal pelvis. Let's take a look at the major regions of the kidney. The renal cortex is highlighted green here. The cortex is where the nephrons are located. Nephrons are microscopic, so we don't see them here. Deep to the renal cortex is the renal medulla. This region is the medulla. It contains two major structures, the renal columns, highlighted green, and then the renal pyramids in burgundy. Let's take a look at a different kidney model and let's make it transparent so we can see the orientation of the cortex and the medulla. We can see that the nephrons aren't visible in the cortex and then you might also notice that the renal pyramids in the medulla are oriented so that the bases of the pyramids are against the renal cortex and then the tips of the pyramids are jutting into the center of the kidney and the tips of each pyramid are in contact with what's called a minor calyx, part of the renal pelvis. Let's take a closer look at the renal pyramids. A minor calyx is like a drain. It's an extension of the renal pelvis that goes up to a single renal pyramid. The tip of the renal pyramid projects into the minor calyx, and that's where urine produced by that renal pyramid drips into the renal pelvis. The minor calyces lead into bigger uh, structures called a major calyx, and the major calyx connects with the rest of the renal pelvis. So you can see that this branching network of the renal pelvis is kind of like an extensive drain system where each minor calyx receives urine dripping out of the renal papillae, each renal pyramid, and then conducts it outside of the kidney.